Before we dive into the episode, I want to ask you something. How would it feel to be able to get up each morning knowing that you call the shots? That you can live and work when, where, how, and with whom you choose? That you get to reap all the benefits of your own talent and expertise and are no longer slaving for someone else's dream, but living your own? You get all this and more with a digital business. And if you'd love to start one but have no idea where to begin, then I have something just for you. I've created a free resource called the Digital Business Quick Start Guide. By downloading this guide, you'll discover my simple digital business launch formula that will help you design your business fundamentals and learn what you need to do next to get your business launched fast. So head on over to nicolohara.com forward slash quick start hyphen guide, or you'll find the link in the show notes to download your guide now and get started on your way to finding the freedom and success only a digital business can give you. Do it now. Don't waste another second of your time that you could be planning your digital business launch. Your future self will thank you. Now go and enjoy the episode. Excuses, excuses, excuses. I get so many of them. Oh, Nicola, I can't leave my corporate job and move to my dream career or business because I've no time. I'm too busy. I'm too young or too old. I have too many responsibilities. I'm exhausted. I just can't afford it. I won't be able to make enough money working with my passion. I've no energy. I'm not good enough. I've far too much to lose. They go on and on and on. Whatever your excuse is, I'm telling you, it's holding you back from doing great things. And I want you to ditch it for good. Now, this episode comes with a warning. It contains some tough love because you need to stop hiding behind your excuses and start getting on with the rest of your life, a life that you deserve to make happen. Are you ready? Then let's dive in. I'm Nicola O'Hara, and I made the leap from a successful corporate career as a leader in learning, development and recruitment to launch my dream business and haven't looked back. Every week, we'll bring you step-by-step strategies, essential knowledge and tools, and share inspirational stories and practical tips so you are ready to take your leap to a career and life you love. This is the Powering Your Passion podcast. Okay, it's time to get real. I know if you've been thinking about changing your career and haven't done it yet, or even started working towards it, you will have a lot of reasons why you can't or won't take that leap. I'm going to tell you something you are not going to like, but it needs to be said. They aren't reasons. They are excuses. I know that word may have triggered an emotional response from you because we really don't like to hear our reasons, our excuses. Perhaps now you're thinking, but Nicola, I have a really, really good legitimate reason. Or Nicola, I just can't do it now because... I'm saying that there is always something you can do to get started or keep working towards your career leap. There is no reason, except maybe perhaps serious illness or death, that should stop you. Excuses hold you back from doing what you want to do. Excuses make you feel better about not taking a chance. You wrap yourself up in excuses because you don't have to do the work and take the chance to actually make your dream happen. The hugely successful entrepreneur Marie Forleo says that every time you say you can't do something, you should change it to won't. As admitting that you won't do something gives you all the power and makes you honest. So saying you won't do something means that you don't want to do it. You don't want to make the sacrifice or put in the effort. You don't want it badly enough or you're not willing to prioritise it. On the other hand, saying you can't do something makes you a victim of your circumstances It says you have no control over your time, energy or choices and makes you seem like you aren't responsible for your actions, even though you are. It also allows you to hide behind the excuse and not admit to the fear of what will happen if you do go for what you want. So if you just won't do something or don't want to do it, then own it. Say I would like to have that new career and the life it would bring, but I just don't want to put in that effort that it will take to do it or I don't want to upset my life, or I don't want to risk what I have, even though I would love what the change would bring. At least then you're making a decision, 
and not blaming it on something or someone else. Marie Forleo is a great example of how to stop using excuses, overcome setbacks and change your life. So do go and check out her book, Everything is Figureoutable, where she tells her story. As you can tell from the title, she believes that every problem has a solution. And I have to agree with her. I'll put a link in the book to the show notes for this episode. If you've not looked at my show notes before, you can find the link to them in the description for each episode, which you can find wherever you're listening to this podcast. The show notes will give you an overview of each episode, go through any key points, and I also add links to articles or books I've mentioned. There's a comment section where you can let me know about anything you want to say about the episode, and if you have any burning topic you'd love me to cover in the future. One thing you have to remember is that people always think that their lives are different from others, that what's holding them back is so much harder to overcome for them than it is for other people. They say things like, it's okay for them to change careers or open their dream business because they have so much more money than me, or they don't have children, or they don't have all my responsibilities, or they're so much more talented than me, or they don't have so much to lose. We always think our own problems are worse to excuse ourselves from not taking the action that others already have. I can guarantee you that successful people, including career changers, also have problems. They have things holding them back. They have families and money worries and responsibilities. Often you just don't know what they've had to face to get where they are now. You only see the glossy success story, not the -the behind-the-scenes struggles. And yes, maybe some people have more of an advantage, but they are the minority. Most successful people don't have a superpower or a golden ticket or a free ride to make their success happen. So what makes the difference? What makes them able to cut through the challenges that face them? Well, they stop making excuses. They're willing to try to find a solution to the challenges that face them and they change their mindset and inner self-talk from I can't or I won't to I can and I will. Now, one of the biggest excuses I hear is that you have no time. I remember once speaking with a coach in the early days of my career change and she was saying what I'm saying now that you can find the time. I stood there and for every idea or example she gave, I had a reason, what I now know was an excuse, to why I could not find the time. Until she finally exhausted all her ideas and just looked at me with a frustrated expression. And I could tell she was thinking, I did just not want it enough. Yes, I was tired. I had a full-on job which sat my energy and at the time I'd been travelling a lot as well as having quite a hectic social life and other things I committed to. I literally had no idea where I could find any time in the week to work on my career change project. I could see her faith in me and my determination to succeed leech away with every second. What I realised in that moment was that I was not willing to try. I was ready with excuse after excuse. I was set on proving to her why none of her ideas would work. That my circumstances were different. That it was harder for me. I was hiding behind that excuse because finding the time would be hard and would mean sacrificing things I love or I thought were important, but were by no means impossible. There's a saying that you might have heard that is something along the lines of, we all have the same 24 hours of Beyonce, or something like that. So if she can be so successful, so can we. Many people have laughed at it because they say Beyonce will have an army of helpers and supporters that allow her to get things done that she has. Yes, we have the same time, but not the same resources, so it's not a fair comparison. However, I think they miss the point a bit. What the saying means is that we all have the same 24 hours in a day. The difference between your life or mine or Beyonce's is really about what we choose to do with those minutes we have. We can waste them, give excuses as to why we can't use them to our advantage, or we can use them wisely to become the best we can be. It's not an accident that Beyonce has had the stellar success she's had. She makes the best of what she has out of her own circumstances and takes the opportunities when they come up. Compared to other female singers of her generation and genre, she has been a standout successful. She's walking her own path. Yes, you may have more challenges than others and will have to work harder than them to get past them. But don't let them stop you being what you're meant to be, wherever you start from. So don't compare yourself with those others because A, you don't know what they've had to face 
And B, you're unique. You have skills and talents that might far outweigh theirs. You need to focus on what you're capable of, what you want out of life, and how you want to do it. Another excuse I've seen people use is, I have children. Now, full disclosure, I don't have children, but a lot of my friends do, and I've seen the amount of work they create and the time they can take up, as well as bringing lots of joy, of course. Also, I know how much you want to keep them secure and not risk their future. I think you parents are superstars in what you achieve, particularly when you have a full-on job too. But let me ask you this. Do you think that all successful people are childless? Absolutely not. Is it that people who are parents don't go for their dreams or make their passions into a career? So not true. I know lots of successful people who've done just that. So what do they have that is different? I would say they do really want it, above all else, for themselves and their families. Look, I used to be the queen of excuses, and I used to hate it when I was told, if you really want it, then you will make it happen. It really set my teeth on edge because, hey, I really wanted it. But there was so much going on in my life and I thought my reasons were really good. It was only when I had a health scare, which fortunately was just a scare, and I really thought about how I wanted my life to be, that I found the determination and drive to go for it. Suddenly I realised that all those reasons I had been telling myself were valid, were just excuses. And I started to look for solutions instead of telling myself it was impossible or clinging on to the security that I had. Nothing else had changed except my mindset. I was going to make it happen. So what reasons are you giving yourself or others about why you haven't started your career change journey? Are they really legitimate reasons? Is there nothing you can do to overcome them? Be really honest with yourself. Are they actually just excuses that you can decide to stop making? It really is your choice. You have to choose to find the time. You have to choose to forego some things you enjoy while you work towards your dream. You have to choose to take a chance. You have to choose to work towards something you really want, even if it's just one small step at a time. That is the only way you can have the career and life you were born for. The bottom line is, I know it's hard to stop making excuses, but you have to switch your mindset from can't or won't to can and I will. Let's face it, it will never be the perfect time. You'll always have other responsibilities. You'll always have other things to deal with. So you need to start finding solutions to the challenges you have and stop blaming them for your lack of action. To make the career and life you want, you need to take control of your life. Don't let your excuses control you. You deserve better. So that's it for this episode. If this is your first time listening in, you're very much welcome here. I'm really pleased to have you and hope you'll continue to join us. And if you've been here for a while, thanks for sticking with me. And I hope this episode is going to help you work towards your career leap. If you've missed anything or want to read any of the key points, take a look at my show notes. The link is in the show description. And remember, you deserve to live your passion. So go for it. This is your time. I'm Nicola O'Hara, and I made the leap from a successful corporate career as a leader in learning, development and recruitment to launch my dream business and haven't looked back. Every week, we'll bring you step-by-step strategies, essential knowledge and tools, and share inspirational stories and practical tips so you are ready to take your leap to a career and life you love. This is the Powering Your Passion podcast.